Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls Online. This is Episode 6, the final episode I'm recording on Saturday, March 1st, 2014. So, let's just get started. We deactivated two wards, and now we're going to go in a temple and figure out where this guy is. This Ruralion or something? R Rulian? I don't know. They're guarding the entrance. Die! Yep. The combat in this game is so exciting and not laggy at all. Okay. Oh, look at that. Crappier armor, but it's worth nine, so I'll take it. Nothing. Oh, the entrance is a giant stone that I barely lifted up and then squeezed through. Because I made a paper. Is this going to be an actual dungeon? Because we haven't had any of those yet. It's kind of strange. That door has a barrier. I did when I last came through here. Let's look around. There must be a way to disrupt it. Hmm. The cycle of the two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. Oh, you have to do these in an order then? Great. I don't get it. Um. Okay, new moons, waning moons, waxing. The cycle of the two moons seems to be the key to dispersing the barrier. Full moons. These two look the exact same, don't they? Oh no, they're on the opposite sides. Okay, well if they want me to do it in order, then I would do this one. Ooh, shiny, that means I did it right. And then I do this one. And then I do this one. And then I do this one. The barrier is down. Oh, but before we proceed, I need to speak with you. They rarely move their mouths. When we entered the temple, that skeleton made it sound as though Aurelian was in grave danger. I won't let vague threats keep us from my master. But Aurelian is too important to lose. Perhaps we should think before we act. The Dominion relies on Aurelian for his sound judgment. He's taught countless students the ways of Magicka including some of the Queen's own advisors. His role in the invasion is paramount for our future success. If anything were to happen to him... Thank you. We should keep moving. Yes, we should. I thought we were going in here to save his life we anyway, but apparently... On that pedestal. I didn't know that. Wait! That's Aurelian! What's he doing up there? Well, I found him. Ears that large, and you still don't listen. Perhaps you need a few alterations. There was a time when the sound of Aldor's voice commanded the terror of thousands. Why, I am. I'm Aldor. I see your dominion teaches you nothing of my people. I shouldn't bemoan your ignorance. You fools ended centuries of captivity when you removed the Morning Stone. Never mind that accursed blue rock. I'm about to restore my wardrobe to its full glory. Behold this Rorellian fellow. Such vibrancy. I could use more like him, but one must be willing to run through a bolt of silk for the finest coat. I believe I'll keep him. At least until my summoning ritual wears him through. You see, undead are all so... beige. But I'm willing to adorn myself with hundreds of tawdry outfits in order to collect the more colorful garb at Eagle Strand. <laughs> then drown in a sea of bones. <laughs> Leave Aurelian for now. 
We have to disrupt the summoning ritual. I'll destroy the bone piles if you keep the undead at bay. Where are the undead? There's some undead. There's some glowy thing. Keep the undead away from me. Where is she? I don't even need to do anything. So many people here. Well, do I have to go stand here then? Ah, oh, there we go. So I can just stand here and let other people do my work for me, I guess. Lag. She's done. I see. Let's go destroy the next one then. There we go. Okay, so just stare at her and see if me and Dead go after her. Not seeing any. This is a terrible boss fight. Oh, there's actually an undead. Whatever will I do? 1 8k it apparently. Next one. Oh, this is a thing. It's working. I'll weaken the next circle. Yes, you do that. Night Prowl Lore. Is it dead? It's dead. The last one! This looks very dangerous. If there wasn't 5,000 people here killing everything before me. Lag! This game is lagging a lot more today than it did yesterday. I'm right behind you. Um, wake up. Your health is almost dead. Stay back. Uldor, get out of my body now. Silence, none command Uldor. Where is he going? So there's basically, as far as I can tell, no dungeons in this game. I guess there's probably whatever they do in WoW. I don't know. I've never played an MMO, really, besides RuneScape. I played a little bit of some EverQuest, I think. But not really. Are these spike traps? They look kind of like spike traps. Uldor, what is with the ghosts? I command you by the tears of the two moons, return to your prison. Shiny. Ah! Oh gosh. He made him leave. You're Gathwin's ally, yes? Please disable these traps so she can make it to a safe place. What traps? Despite all my knowledge, Uldor's influence over me was absolute. I'd be little more than a puppet without your timely intervention. Oh, only my pride. But we have a more pressing matter. As Uldor sensed my thoughts, I could sense his. He plans to overwhelm and enslave Kanathi's roost with an undead horde by the next dawn. Uldor was a powerful Malmo wizard who learned to separate his spirit from his body, even in death. He can wear hundreds of mindless forms at a time. Thankfully, I know his weakness. The Morning Stone's endless water supply tied Uldor's spirit to his body. When Eelsil removed the Morning Stone from the temple, he set Uldor free. Once again, Eelsil's sloppy methods nearly caused the death of me. These gems focused the Morning Stone's power. Uldor had me remove them from his tomb. 
I propose Gathwin recovers the Morningstone from Eagle's Strand. Meanwhile, we restore Uldor's prison. <laughs> Simple enough. Okay. No, which is why we must be the ones to enter the tomb. After he saw you through my eyes, he seemed convinced that to wear you would destroy him. For some reason, he feared you. No, we must enter the tomb together. Though he can't wear you, he could quite easily obliterate you with his magic. Only by splitting his attention can we hope to defeat him. Okay. Now what? They want me to keep talking to him, apparently. Despite all my knowledge, old, 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 old. the morning stone. These gems focus the morning, the centerpiece of this old Khajiit temple. After Uldor's reign of terror, the Sea Elves gave it to the Khajiit so it would become the key to his prison. Okay. Master, I know what you're planning. I won't let you throw your life away. Um. Morellian's plan is to let Uldor possess him. They'll both be sealed in the tomb forever. But it doesn't need to be this way. Seal me inside. Morellian is too important for the Dominion to lose. Besides, we both saw how the summoning ritual weakened my master. Please, help me convince Morellian. I will gladly seal myself in the tomb to spare my master. Uldor is a threat to all on this island. Okay. We should hurry. Uldor won't be trapped for long. That's madness. I've experienced so many summers. My greatest accomplishment was watching Gathwin blossom into someone who far surpassed my own deeds. No, she must recover the Morning Stone. You and I should confront Uldor. I'd have to agree. She's younger, so she has more potential. Then we should waste no more time. You can't do this, Master. The Dominion will thrive without me. It's far stronger than it knows. Then I should recover the Morning Stone. Farewell, Borillion. I. What? I, I know teleport. I know. Anyway. I just want to explore, and they're not letting me because I can't leave this island. It's not fun. You. I won't wear a poison outfit. I've reconsidered what our combined power can do all door. I willingly give myself over. I knew such power would tempt you. Very well. How stupid would you have to be? Hurry! Place the tears of the two moons in the pedestals! Wretched fool! I'll tell you not leave this tomb alive! Lag, lag, lag. Place. I thought there was only two of them. Apparently not. Apparently it's four two moons. This is so hard. Yeah. You worthless rag! This too can't hold me forever. I would have to agree. Go quickly. I feel Uldor's weakness fade. Hurry, tell Gathwen of the plan's success. But don't mourn for me, friend. I earned a useful fate. Few can say the same. Uldor will sustain me. Better a living form than a dusty old skeleton, I suppose. I'd hoped for more time to meditate, but this wasn't what I had in mind. Goodbye, my friend. You're what all in the Dominion should aspire to be. Why does everyone think I'm in the Dominion? Oh well. There's all these bad guys that you can't kill in these games. It's kind of ridiculous. If you can do that, then eventually there's just going to be unlimited bad guys. The entire planet's going to be covered in dungeons holding bad guys with magical artifacts. Eh. 
And out we go. Where to? Nowhere. Because it wasn't on the map. Hello. Hello. It's done, isn't it? Aurelian is sealed inside with that monster. Forgive me. Uldor couldn't be allowed to roam free. Something had to be done. And you had the strength to see what I could not. I'll ensure the Morningstone remains guarded at all times. I should make a full report so the Dominion understands the danger of Uldor's capabilities. No good comes from dwelling on the past. Aurelian lives, which means there's hope. He's a great man. A good man. I don't care how long it takes. I'll find a way to free him from that monster. Okay. Forgive me. You did so much to help a stranger. I won't forget. I can open a portal to the temple courtyard if you wish. There you go. Hurry, it won't remain open. Okay. I don't know why I need this portal, but I'll use it. Medium armor increased to four. Sounds like there's a war going on. What? Why are there so many ghosts? Hello. What? I am so confused now. Are they ever going to let me off this island? Now they actually want me to go to Mistral. Okay, it cost me 41 to go there fast. What? A frog? Froggy! Die! Sorry. But I want your items. What is with all the ghosts? Oh well. I guess I go out here. Yes, and I jump off there. So, my opinion of this game so far, it's easy. It's kind of boring. Too many quests, not enough freedom. Basically, it's worse than Skyrim in every way. Might be an okay MMO. It's not a good Elder Scrolls games. Game. Not games. That is my opinion. What have you guys done to that poor Thunderbug? Plus, the graphics are worse than Skyrim, but laggy. Skyrim looks about this good, and it runs perfectly fine on this computer. Yay, Rawhide. Oh, great. Yeah, overkill time. Thank you for the Rawhide. Eventually, I'll figure out how to make something from it. Eventually. Now we get to swim. Oh, I can jump while swimming. Talk to Razumdar. Are they going to let me off the island now? Probably not. Even though I've saved like a bajillion people. This island is just a disaster zone. Greetings. How much money do I have? 194? Yeah. I do need to sell stuff, actually. What is this? More of that... Oh, jute. That's actually useful for something. If I can figure out how. Uh, climb, climb, climb. Where'd that store go? It's not here. Oh, it is here. It's just not loaded yet. Oh, no! Flying! Climbs. If they don't make the drop soon, let's cut our losses and make for the mainland. This is weird. Wardens of the Green. This one does not like it, Kit. But perhaps you are right. Still, keep checking, will you? Hello, guy. I have the finest in armor available. Well, 
Some of it's not all that fine, but it's still decent quality. Yes, I'm sure. Let's toss these soul shriven things, because those are useless. Morning bow. Maple in front of us. Maple bow is 10. That's 11. So maple bow is tossed. These are worse than what I'm currently wearing. So is this. Anything else to sell? I think that's it. We can look at miscellaneous. Ah, carapace. There we go. Bring up inventory space. Now let's go check out whatever we're doing. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Yeah, do your trading here. Down about that. I what sell deserve? to the nobility. This one has heard reports. You've kept busy. Good. You fit in now more than ever. How did things go? Oh, this is the guy from the first episode or so. Second episode? Whenever I got to this island. Clearly, you were meant to help us out. John and Jode have a sense of humor, yes? And, of course, Raz thinks discretion deserves a reward. Okay, I didn't know that was a quest. Keep your wits about you, my new friend. Mistrell's houses cast deep shadows, and vipers lurk in the tall grass. Mistral is the jewel of the Southern Seas, a free port with trade ties to half of Tamriel. Ambassadors from the Dominion arrived weeks ago to negotiate its admission into the Alliance. Unfortunately, things have not gone smoothly. Kenarthi's Roost has an old treaty with the Maumar. They claim the Dominion fleet intended to invade their home waters. It's a sticking point in the negotiations. The Sylvanar could use some help. Find him. Give him this token. He'll know you are a friend. Without Mistral's support, the Dominion will have precious little defense on its southern coasts. But we are not here to conquer anyone. The Sylvanar knows this. He is in the Chancery, seeking a peaceful resolution here. Razumdar is just a simple Khajiit. He seeks the best for all the people of Tamriel. Also, a saddle that won't pinch the tail. One day. Okay. They mix brews with Another quest. Here. I'm still stuck on this island, yes. apparently. And in most Greetings. Now, let's I want to see the world, not wander around to some boring island full of cats. Is the Sylvanar blind? Every one of these sea elves is a venomous serpent waiting to strike. We should have cleansed this place of Mawamar scum the moment we arrived. Lorcan, take them all. Why did the Sylvanar negotiate with these filthy Maumer? They really need to work on the mouths. It's just ridiculous. Those pirates are a stick in the High Elf eye. They capture our merchant ships and raid our settlements. If I had any say, we'd negotiate with a sword at their throats. Not as long as the Sylvanar confuses diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go. See this farce for yourself. Okay. That was the idea. Your faith could curdle milk. Keep walking. What? Yay, more boring stuff. Rats in the crops. No level from that. Ooh, I want to eat it, but I can't. Hello? That's random. Just laying there. What you gotta say? No wine. Stringy meat. My beloved Sylvanar cooling these squabbling children instead of warming our bed. If there's a more tiresome place in all of Tamriel, I haven't found it. Okay. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Kanathi's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It seems we have a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Kanathi's Roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, 
yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondil and Headwoman Harani? Exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tune. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved, though I fear the Dominion presence binds her hands. But I'll leave you to it. Okay. Sounds boring. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations. And this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow High Elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our truce. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for it. I won't allow High Elf Warfrats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why don't you bother Harani for her copy? Where is Harani? Um, where? Outside, I guess. Investigate the Chancery. Where is this Harani? Why did it tell me to go outside and then tell me to go back inside? Great. Oh, there they are. Harani. It's hard to keep track of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistral. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him the mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. Now what? Any luck securing a copy of the treaty? Then there's little chance for compromise. I'll call a break in formal talks until everyone calms their nerves. You understand the stakes, yes? It's why I ask you to take a more active role in locating the treaty. I don't do so lightly. I can't allow the Dominion's first act on Kanathi's roost to be one of conquest. I understand our mutual friend prefers the rum served at a nearby tavern. Perhaps he would have ideas on securing a copy of the treaty. Okay. I was hoping to get off this island today, but apparently not. Yes. Just keeps going. Be disgusted by its cold, oozing nose. Give it up. One claw at a time. You think this one drinks on the job? Good. Then so will everyone else. What is the word, my new friend? Ulandil certainly won't. His viper tongue is sharp. But Harani can't because her copy was stolen. It only takes three drinks to loosen the tongue of the Chancery clerk. If you were curious. A good question. Raz answers it with an interesting bit of trivia. Ulandil posted a guard at his quarters the day of the theft. His subtleties rivaled only by his pleasant personality. Oh, and it's five drinks for him as he stopped. Six puts them out. Someone needs to slip into Marmor Embassy, find a way past the guard, and rifle through Ulandil's private quarters. Oh, and do it without bloodshed that could provoke war with the Marmor. In case he was not clear, Raz is talking about you. The pragmatist in this one says it's because you have no firm connection to the Dominion. The optimist says it's because you have proven yourself more than capable already. When you have the treaty, meet both of us at the bridge. From your bones. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this episode. We'll be recording some more tomorrow, and then the beta weekend will be over.
So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching, as usual. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.